I thought quickly, and I, I, in deference to our other speakers, I would just open it up for a couple of quick questions, if any of you have uh, questions that you would like to address. See, I like to hear from constituents, so it's one of the things that we do in our campaign. Any questions? Yes, sir. What do you think of uh, Patch's uh, uh, pistol whipping of the entire Catholic Church recently? Well, it's very popular to think he's uh, in the biggest Catholic state. Well, you know, I, I certainly, um, I certainly don't agree with the Catholic Church on everything, and I'll be very upfront about that. Uh, but I, I like to think that I treat everybody with respect and with tolerance and with understanding. Even if I don't agree with you, uh, I may do it with humor. But I, you know, I always like to think that I'm not going to demonize somebody just because I disagree with them. And I think that's what struck me the most about his remarks, is if you don't agree 100% with what he's thinking, then he's got to demonize you and he's got to, to put you down there. And fortunately, and, and I'm a Lutheran too, so uh, the Catholic Church, they've got this Bishop Tobin guy that just jumped on that with both feet. And I give Bishop Tobin a lot of credit for taking the bull by the horns and calling him out for it. I mean, it was disrespectful and it was intolerant. And those are two things that don't make our government work better. It makes it more divisive. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Uh, this is a question I just asked. Most sure. Uh, when was the first and last time you read the Constitution? When was the first time and last time I read the Constitution? Probably the first time in high school. Of the United States. Oh, yeah, well, no, Bolivia. Oh, I thought you <laughs> <laughs> Could you read the Probably, probably the first time was in high school, you know, as part of a, a high school curriculum class. And, and I, you know, I can't honestly say that I sat down and read cover to cover recently, but I refer to it from time to time because, you know, we get questions about the Ninth and Tenth Amendment that come up a lot, and so I refer back to it frequently. I used to carry around a little copy of the Constitution in my pocket, a little pocket Constitution, uh, but it's in my other suit. <laughs> other questions? Yes, sir. What are Murphy and company doing on the Hill today? Well, they're solving all our problems. As many of you don't know, the Democrats decided to hold a caucus, uh, and they, of course, excluded the Republicans from this caucus, and I wanted to recognize Representative Savage, my colleague back there. He was excluded from this as well. Um, but uh, they, yeah, they had this caucus, and they... Round of applause for Jack. They had this caucus, and they, apparently they solved all the problems of the state, and we should be hearing about that shortly, uh, but did it without, uh, without any of our input. So. <laughs> You know, we'll be back there in January and we'll be continuing to fight the fight on that and trying to do what we can to, uh, to at least surface the issues. And a lot of times what happens with, with good ideas, we come up with them and then they co-opt them. And as long as they become law, I'm okay with that. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. You want to steal my ideas and turn the state around? Please do. Any other questions? Well, I want to thank you very much. My name is John Laughlin. I'm running for Congress.